on the V-Strom 650 XT 2017. The 33 litre and 46 litre Trekker Givy bags installed on the Givy sidebars and top plates. Well, welcome guys. Kimmy Russ Adventures here today. Well, the better half's not here today. No, wait a minute. I am here. Kimmy's at work. I'm off there later. But I thought I would just do a quick review, a two year review of the Givy Trekker bags, which is those there. That there is the 46 litre a Givy a Trekker bag. And that one there is a 33 litre Givy Trekker bag. Now, I've had these for two years now. Obviously, it's the two year review, isn't it? But we have done, let me just have a look here. We'll turn the bike on, see how many Ks we have done. All right, so I don't know if you can see there, but the two years we have done 45,000 Ks in the two years we've had it. So those bags have had a pretty good run, haven't they? That's what I think anyway. So anyway, I'll just take you through a few features of these bags. I'll just put you down a little bit there just so I can work the selfie properly. Right, so that's the 33 litre bag there. Now, I think they are a pretty good bag. Now, like I said, we've done a lot of touring with these. I'll just grab the key out. Now, open him up, you push that button, and just undo those. Now this one here, or actually the whole three of them, you can set them up so they open up like that. So you can get stuff in and out of there at your will. Now all of them open up like that, or the whole side case will open up. As you can see, I'll just take that out of there and I'll open up the back bags for you. Yes, there's the Kimmy Russ Adventures YouTube channel there. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. So we'll open that one up. And there's the bag there. That's the full width opening of the bag. Now you can just let this little piece here open up if you want just to get in and out of there for little things now as you can see it will take a full full size helmet that is one of my spare helmets i've got in there at the moment but there is plenty of room in there just take that out and show you in there i've got a few things there some gloves a couple of locks a bit of cleaning stuff there the old Vuplex, fantastic for plastics and screens especially and visors on your helmet. Now all the bags come with these straps, tie down straps for your clothes which just hook up together like that and they do do a pretty good job I can tell you because every year we go to the mainland for a month as you know and our clothes aren't ruffled. It holds them in place fairly well. Now these bags are fairly easy. Oh, wait a minute. Don't go away. The rack on top here. I did. This does not come with the bag. That is a separate purchase. I did buy that just in case we needed to strap extra luggage on, like our coats or whatever, or just anything. Anything not too heavy, I guess. I think the bags are actually rated at about 10 pounds, uh, 10 kilos, sorry, not pounds. So um, they will hold a fair bit. I'll just close this back up and show you how they come off. All these bags come off the same way. Just un Oops. Sorry guys, too many keys on there. Undoing push that in and just lift it off and those are the racks they sit on which we haven't had no trouble with as of yet as you can see the old tool tool roll there if anyone hasn't seen that before go back through Kimmy Russ videos 
and you'll see the install and the making of that actual tool roll. So all those bags just lift off and very easy just to put back on too. Just slide it in there and that's it. On. Bob's your uncle. But they've been a really good bag so far. No problems at all with them. I can't, can't really say I can knock them. Clothes haven't got wet. That's one good thing. No problems, I had a little think about that. No problems at all. Recommended, they are fairly pricey though for the whole setup. Um, with the top plate, which is that there, that, that bag, and you've got to get the brackets and everything for the side cases, they are fairly easy to set up. But then when you look at original gear for these bikes, or any bikes, KDMs, anything, Triumphs, it's all fairly gear, probably comes in a little bit cheaper. So, very happy with those bags, very happy indeed. And, like I said, these two bags here, they're for Kimmy's clothes while we're away. That bag there, that's for all the electrical gear. You may ask, where does Rusty's clothes go? Well, Rusty's clothes go here on a, in a little bag right there. I mean, one of these is a makeup bag for Kim. Would you believe it? Have a look at her. I reckon you would. She's a 40 year, oh, actually no, she's a 50 year old woman, you know, she's got to keep looking good. But anyway guys, I'll be off now. I hope that helps. You decide if you want to get some Givy bags. Apparently they have got um, a different variety of bags out for these now. I think it's a Givy Trekker 2. I think the side ones are 35 litre, not 33 litre. Now the side ones can go on top as well and even the big one can go on the side as well but the new ones are a little bit more rounded like. So anyway, get online and have a look guys. Anyway, catch you later back on the road somewhere. Somewhere in Australia guys. Bye. One thing I did forget to mention. When you buy these bags they come with um, spare keys and spare key chambers. So you can actually hook up all these bags to the one key. Uh, just by changing that barrel there, which is quite a simple task. So then the one key can open up all. Because with each bag comes a spare chamber. So you can, the chamber that comes with these two side ones, you can put in this one here if you want. So they're all the same key. Just sort of let you know, I am going this time, guys. Bye. Thank you.